Hey, good evening. It's uh, Saturday, July 29th, and welcome to Everyday Talk 24-7. Really good to be able to end the week with you. Tonight I'm going to be looking at Psalm 146. It's a passage that I turn to frequently, a lot. Especially when things are kind of discouraging or troubling, where things just seem kind of out of control. And I thought that this is a great psalm to end the week when, because there's so much in turmoil all around us. And maybe there's turmoil going on in your life right now. And this, this psalm is, is part of the end of the book of Psalms, which all focus on praise. And I did a whole playlist on this. Uh, so some of this you may remember. But I love going back to passages again and again because each time you find something fresh something that the Holy Spirit has uniquely designed for each of us. He's that powerful. He can take the words that are written in this book and we can read them time after time after time. But because he's alive, because he's working with us, because this book through him is alive to us, then it's able to be meet our needs exactly. Even though we've known the passage as well, we've read them before, or we've just heard a sermon about them, God is able to take them and bring them right to our heart. And that's the beauty of the Word of God. It is living and active. It does touch our hearts. So, let's look at Psalm 146 tonight in that light. The title of the psalm, of the video tonight, is He is the Maker of the Sea. And we'll see that referred to in the psalm. That's what brings us comfort. Like I said, this is a praise section. From Psalm 145 to 150, it ends the book of Psalms, and they all focus on praising God. And praising God is simply this. Being blown away by the wonder of God and by what He's done and then telling those things back to him. That's praise. That's what the Bible means by praise. So the psalm says this, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul, that deepest part within me. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Praise is to be something that is to be a constant theme, especially when we're hurting. It's not just for being excited or amped up in worship songs. Praise is for our life. Our lifeblood depends on it, especially when there's hurt and pain. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortal men who cannot save. In other words, if you're looking for people as the salvation for your issues, don't put your trust there. Whether it's a great leader, political leader, church leader, or a friend, or a daughter, or a brother, or a wife, or a husband. Don't put your trust there. Put your trust in God. Because you see, when their spirits depart, they return to the ground, and on that very day, their plans come to nothing. So we don't, we don't need to be awed by people. We need to be awed by the wonder of God whose plans never fail. Blessed is he whose help is the Lord, the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God. And this is especially true for us when we're struggling, when we're hurting, when we feel abandoned. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them, the maker of the sea, the powerful sea. God is the maker of that. He's our helper. The Lord remains faithful forever. Even though our circumstances may be hurting, the Lord is being faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free, gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up the spirits of those who are bowed down. And he loves the righteous. He watches over the alien 
sustains the fatherless and the widow, and he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever, your God, O Zion, for all generation. Praise the Lord. As I said, this psalm is for when we're hurting. Praise comes sort of naturally when things are going well. But when we're hurting, when things seem to be crashing down around us, the maker of the sea, the one who made all of this, the one who sustains us, his praise is what will keep us on the right path, will touch our hearts. As we end this week, I pray that you will not look to people, not let people, regardless of their behavior or circumstances, don't let those things rob you of the steadying grace of praise of the one who made the heavens and the earth, the maker of the sea, because he is for us through the mercies of his son, Jesus Christ. And that's such a beautiful way to end this week. Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of uh, Everyday Talk 24-7. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you on Monday. Good night. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.